Just two questions. Why do women have so many bags and why is organizing them so exciting? It's Holly and today I'm going to show you how to make this gorgeous purse rack with just a few pieces of wood and some screws. Right here then. So the first thing you're going to want to do is find a good space for this rack to go. In my case, we have a whole lot of extra space at the top of our closet. As you can see, I went ahead and took advantage and put a bunch of shoes at the very top, but this space was perfect. Next, measure the space and write those measurements down because that's how you're gonna decide how long to chop your pieces of wood. Speaking of wood, that's gonna be the first thing on your shopping list. I went to Home Depot and I asked one of the guys to help me chop the first piece the exact length of the space that I had and then to make a bunch of little pieces that were eight inches high. They can be taller if you want a little bit more structure, but eight inches was enough for me. Here are the other supplies that you're gonna need for your project. Sanding blocks, an electric sander if you have access to one, an electric screwdriver, as well as drill bits so that you can use it as a screwdriver and a drill. And no, this video is not sponsored by Ryobi, wouldn't that be nice? And last but not least, wood screws. You want them to be long enough to go through one piece of wood and connect it to the other. Moving right along, once you get home with all of your supplies, first thing you're gonna wanna do is sand off all of those harsh edges. I usually start with the sanding blocks and then move on to the electric sander. Then lay out your base piece and pull all those purses out of the drawer or wherever you have them hiding and use them as a guide for where you wanna put the dividers. You probably don't want them to be even just because purses come in all different shapes and sizes. Next, you are going to make a mark where you've decided that you wanna put your little separators. And if this is ringing any bells, for those of you who have seen some of my other tutorials, yes, you are right. This is exactly the same premise that I use for my shoe rack and for my sunglass rack. If you haven't seen those videos, check them out. Hey, if you find something that works, why change it? <laughs> Next, put those pieces right under where they're gonna go and drill a nice hole. Make sure the hole's not too big so that the screw can still grab on but this is really gonna facilitate the process of putting the screws in. Two screws for every divider should be enough. These don't need to be super sturdy, they're just holding purses. Next is an optional step, you can spray paint your organizer. I chose white so that it would fit in perfectly with my closet. Make sure you have proper ventilation, do the right number of coats, yada yada, all that good stuff. Final step, bring your finished shoe organizer into your closet, put it in place, and start plopping those purses where they go. And there's the final result. As you can see, it blends in really well with the whole closet and it's just really utilizing that space to its maximum potential. It makes me so excited. Hope you guys found this tutorial useful. It was really fun to make. If you end up recreating this organizer, I'd love to see what you do. Share pictures with me on Facebook or Instagram or however you want to get a hold of me. I'm here. <laughs> Talk to you guys later.